But guess what? We didn't do it last week. But guys, I have so much new fire today. Well, not a lot. I have four songs, but really good shit. Like, I'm pumped. Okay. I don't do this every, every week because like, I'm not, you know, if there's new fire, I'm going to tell you if there's not, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to make shit up. Like, you know what I mean? But this week, it just, a lot of stuff came up and, 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 and there's four songs that you guys got to add to your list. This is no, like this, I'm very, I haven't, I haven't been this excited for new fire in a while. Okay. Like this is refreshing new, like I'm pumped about this. Okay. So get ready. Okay. Definitely add these songs. You ready? Number one, cups. Okay. Anna Kendrick picked Pitch Perfect. Remember where they did the the cup thing? They, you know, flipped the cup, little the cup thing. Okay, that's this is a this is an older one it's from like 2017 or some shit, maybe 2015, maybe older around that area. Um, super popular when it came out. Everybody forgot about it. I recently started playing it again. It goes off every single time. Put it in your sing along folders. Put it in your white girl folders. Not to dance, but during dinner and stuff. It's a great vibe. Cocktail hour. It's a great vibe. People forgot about this song, so it's just going to bring them back, a, you know, a few years ago, and it, it's really just been a vibe. It's worked every single time. I've used I used it at all three weddings this past weekend, and I think one or two the weekend before, and it worked great. So highly recommend this for dinner, cocktail, or anything like this, anything like that. A-OK. This is a brand new song from Tay Verdes. Uh, if you might have heard it, it's going to be A-O-A-OK. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sing. Anyway. Great song. This is there. This and then the next song I'm about to tell you about. Like these are two songs that like are newer that have like they're they're actually it's like it's like new music that's like wow I never heard anything like this. Like this is a new melody. This is like a new kind of like oh like like this is what I needed. Like I I dig I I I, I yearn for is that the right word yearn I I I I, I lust I. I hope <laughs> for good new music that's like just just like a, a like a new song and this is like a, a total new song to me like it's just like the the melody everything's just unique and it's just such a great vibe um dinner it's not really a dancing vibe I don't know if there's a good remix out yet but like I've been playing it during dinner cocktail hour and it's just like it's just the perfect song it's such a great vibe it's new it just came out like I think like two months ago or something like that tops so definitely add these to your crate if you haven't heard it I haven't listened to this whole album yet but I'm definitely gonna give it a listen because this song's just too good. I'm assuming this guy's got some fire on this album, so I'm definitely gonna check that out, and I will, um, I will let you know, you know, what I find with that. The se- the other new song um, is called "Fancy Like." Now, I just saw this morning. This actually made top ten on the Billboard, so I guess it's that popular. I didn't realize. I heard this song on a commercial on an NFL. I think it was I uh, watching like an NFL game or something. And it was just kept coming on the same commercial. Um, fancy like Applebee's. It's an Applebee's commercial, I think, or something. And it's definitely a TikTok dance as well. It got, you know, went viral on TikTok. This song, I think it's a little older. It might be a year or two old, but it's a bop. It's a country song. I don't like country, but like this is a bop. And I played this during dancing on Friday night and Saturday now yeah Friday and Saturday and it went off great it's like 80 BPMs it's a great song like in between if I'm trying to like I've been using it to like get out of trap like if I'm in like you know if I'm doing like the Drake thing and all that like if I'm in like the trap hip-hop the baby then I can use something like this to get out of trap it still has an 808 it still has like a um not a kind of a trap like beat you know it's not like a country country song it's it, the only thing country about it is the dude kind of has a country voice if you really like listen to it but it's got like one of those beats and it's 80 BPM. So if I'm in like the 70, 75, I can move it up to 80, drop this. It's a perfect little transitional into like other shit and it gets me out of the trap and it's been working great. Add this to your sets. I, 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 I'm I a believer in this and then even more so, I was going to tell you guys about this even before this morning I saw it's Billboard Top 10. I think it's like number five on the Billboard right now, which is crazy. So obviously it's, it's, it's sticking. So if you don't have this yet, if you haven't heard it yet, check it out. Add it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And number four. Yo. So I, I can't take credit for this. This is my couple. Uh, on Friday night, they requested this. And I was just like, oh, shit. Right? It was on their request list. So when I was doing their wedding. Like, I was like, oh, I, like this is a song I completely forgot about. Like, this is a song of my childhood that I, I can't believe it just exited my mind. I don't know. I don't think I've ever played it though. Like I think it exited my mind during childhood and then my entire DJ career, I never thought of it. So I don't know. You tell me if you play this, I'd be shocked. Um, that is 
Will You Be There by Michael Jackson. This is the theme from Free Willy. Do you guys remember this? You guys remember this song? The theme from Free Willy? It is a bop. I played it so it was a request on Friday. I played it on Friday during dinner. The entire, the entire room started singing it. The whole, the whole thing. So I put this in like my, my sing-along folder for dinner. I, 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 and it, it, brought, uh, it brought me back. I was singing. <laughs> so this was, I was really excited. Uh, shout out to the bride on Friday for requesting this. You know, and I've said this before. You know, always go through your couple's request list and look through and, and listen to them and organize them and prep them and play them. There's so many times where I've gone through these lists and I found gems, you know, most of the gems in my list, honestly, are from couples over the years, you know, don't sleep on their playlist. Don't look at a large playlist and be like, oh, it sucks, whatever. I'll just look at it at the venue and like scratch it off or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like just don't sleep on their lists. There's gonna, there's always hidden gems. There's always, they're, they're talking to you. Okay, they're talking to you. They're giving you a huge, like, ben, a huge, uh, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Advantage. I couldn't even think of the word advantage. I'm bugging. I need more coffee. Anyway, this song was a bop. I was very excited about dropping it. Very pumped.